All right, so we're just going to do some uh, sample sprays here. I got some of my spoons here off in the background that I've been doing some experiment spraying with these different colors from Turbo Dork. And um, I have many spoons that have been prepped with a, uh, a regular Tamaya primer and then um, a Vallejo gloss black primer to give us that gloss black look that we're after. So what we're going to spray right now is going to be this one called Miami Sunset. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is on the back side of the spoons, I'm making note with a white paint marker of what the color is that's going to be on this. So I have it for reference later. So we're just right on the back of the spoon here, Miami Sunset, with this paint marker as soon as I get some better flow. So we'll have this for reference for the future to know what these colors look like once they're sprayed. Some of them have different uh, guidelines or suggestions for a base coat. Some are white base coat, some are black base coat. All of these ones that I'm doing are a black base coat. Gives you some pretty precise directions right here on the side. This one in particular is a color shift paint. So I have it uh, mixed up into my Grex airbrush here and we're ready to go. So we're going to give it a... Uh, Couple of test sprays here, make sure we got some decent flow. <clears throat> and uh, we're ready. So the bottle says four or five light coats. So that's just what we're going to do. Just going to hit this spoon just really light. A little bit of color there. I'll let that sit and set up for just a few seconds, really. Not very long at all. And then uh, we'll be back with some more coats. So I just hit it with a uh, second coat. We're just going to uh, let that sit. It's five coats. So we'll let that sit. I'm going to put it in the. <clears throat> All right. So our next color up is this. Uh, Blue steel, this one's called blue steel in the in the the um, in the cup here. It looks, it looks really nice. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> so again, just really light coats. That's one. Not much of anything, but it's some color. So all right, so we got the blue steel done. I did have it recorded in stages as I went through the different coats. But apparently I didn't hit the button as I thought I did. So anyways, this is five coats of that blue steel. So that looks really nice. Again, once I get these outside in the sunlight, they'll really pop with some better lighting. So the next one up is going to be this one right here. We're going to work on Morago. Let me get things ready. We'll be right back. Okay, we're ready for the next one. So some of you might be asking, what is your mixing ratio formula here and I don't really have a formula if you will but I always anytime I'm doing any airbrushing I'm always using this uh, Vallejo airbrush flow and pluver five to ten drops of that in the uh, airbrush cup and then I do 10 to 15 drops of paint depending on my surface I'm covering and then with this particular setup I'm using also another three to five drops of this airbrush medium on top of it from army painter and then I mix it up to the nice consistency that I'm looking for, which what I look for is I drag it up to the side with my mixing stick. I drag the paint up the side of the inside of the cup and see that it has that little bit less than milk thickness consistency. Um, my airbrush is using a 0.2 needle and I have my air pressure set at 18 PSI with my throttle trigger adjustment in the back of the gun right here all the way open. That's how I pretty much shoot everything. So let's see what this one looks like. <laughs> see, I am no professional for sure. So there's that light mist coat of just some of the metallics that you can see on there for this blue. Again, let that sit, let that flash. Three to five light coats is what it says on the bottles. So just messing with the adjustment here for the camera angle to see how it's gonna look on that end. Then I skipped recording coat two. So this is going to be coat three we're going to put on right now. And each time I'm doing this, I'm kind of changing my direction. 
So that was a little bit heavier coat for sure than it has been. Um, but the color is really starting to pop now. So that's coat three. And I probably would have stopped at uh, coat four, but I have a little bit of paint left here on the cup, so I'm just going to hit it once more really light just to use up what I have here. And uh, we'll call this one done. Cup is empty. Four and three quarter coats, if you will. We'll let that one sit. And I got one more spoon here ready to go, and I got one more color. Molten Mantle is going to be the next color. So we'll see what that one looks like. Again, that first coat is just that super light mist coat. That's all that we need. See just a little bit of the color on there. So let that sit for 30 seconds a minute. Let it flash. Go to coat two. More of a bronze color, I think that one is. Let's see. All right, I've, have I lost track here? Is this coat three, I think? <laughs> Decent color. It's not something I'm in love with. All right, this would be the last coat of this one and the last spoon for this session. I have many more to do, but I am out of black prepped spoons. So go ahead and get this airbrush cleaned up. Uh, get these geek babies out in the sunshine and show you what they look like out there. So here we have these 11 colors that I've sprayed as samples. To demonstrate what the Turbo Dork paints look like. And here's the colors on the spoons here in the paint booth. Give you the idea of what they look like. And in just a moment, we'll bring them outside. So And thanks for joining me here for another episode here at Mike's Mods and Customs. If you really like what you see here, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and maybe even share it along to a couple of friends of yours. Once again, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you on the next one.